Is the Mastiff yours? Yeah. Okay. How old is he? Eight months. Eight months. Wow. He's beautiful. Thank you. I like all the uh, the wrinkles in his face. What's his name? Rocket. Rocket. Wow. How'd you come up with that name? Uh, and there's kind of a story to it. His dad's name is Koba. Okay. So when I met the reader, I kept. I asked her, hey, I've heard that name before, but I can't remember where it's from. I know it's from a movie. So she sent from Planet of the Apes. Oh, really? So, yeah, so that's one of the villains. So at that point, just like spontaneously, I was like, okay, I guess I'll name mine Rocket. So that's another villain from that same movie. Sorry. How did, uh, so, where so did so you I find him? I them on the spot. So his name was Rocket. I liked yeah. him. I thought about the name and then we kept it. Oh, okay. Where did you find him? Uh, originally I found the breeder on Facebook from Arizona. Uh huh. But then she referred me to this other breeder in Toledo. Oh, okay. Is it your first bull master? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, he's he's really nice looking. Yeah, thanks. So what is Rocket's personality? What is it like? Uh, you know what? I did some research. I have younger kids. So I wanted a dog that was not that was gonna be good with the family. And uh Bull Mastiff, you know, fits the fits, has all the traits. Gentle, he's not aggressive at all. Uh, you know, he when they grow up, so it's hard on the exercise, so after this he'll be exhausted. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, but you know, he's, uh, he's like a gentle giant. So, if somebody's thinking about giving a bull mastiff, uh, what advice would you give them? Uh, make sure that you're prepared for the size. They're very strong. He's very, very strong. At eight months, he's already about 115 pounds. So they're very strong, um, you know, if you have kids, they're gentle, but at the same time you have to be careful because they can knock down the kid unintentionally when they're trying to play. So I just make sure that I, I'm very cautious when he's around the kids, but as far as aggression with people or with other dogs, he's very, very calm, very, very passive. So he's, he's, he, and he's been a, a, an easy puppy to train, body training, 
and his command, he's, he's done well. So I'm and, very happy that I decided on it. And you mentioned that he's 115 pounds. Yeah. When he's full grown, about how much do you expect him to weigh? Uh, well, they get up to about 140, 150, but I'm, I want to keep him at about 130. Okay. On the light side, just because in the long run, I think it'll be better for his joints. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the plan. But, you know, it's kind of hard because they grow so fast. Does he eat a lot? Yeah, he, he's eating about seven cups a day. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing about your dog. Yeah, you're welcome. Bodhi, drop it. Bodhi, come now. Come on. Leave it. No. No. Come on. Now. No. No. Drop it. Drop it. Leave it. Bodhi, come. This way. This way. Now. Come on. Over here. Now. No. Leave it. This way. This way. Come on. So I wanted Bodhi to uh, drop that soccer ball because... Alright, so somehow I guess the recording stopped, but... Anyhow, I wanted to get Bodhi away from playing with that... With that soccer ball. With the German Shepherd because... Uh, the tug of war is just... It's too close. They're in too close contact. Whereas if it was with a rope... Uh, I'm fine with that, but that was just too close. So that's why I called them off. Hey, no, no, the problem is he's going to want to keep going after it. No, not yours. Yeah, I just feel that that soccer ball is too close to their faces. Like the dogs have to get right up on each other. And I just think that that's going to cause a problem. Hey, no, no. Not the easiest thing to call Bodhi off of that because he loves to play, but so far he's doing pretty good. Okay, so that's going to wrap up today's video. I just want to comment. I just want to comment about uh, what I was saying earlier about the dogs uh, playing with the with the soccer ball, and it was the German Shepherd and Bodhi. Their faces were just too close to each other playing with that soccer ball. And a lot of times, Bodhi, come here, now. No, up. A lot of times what happens is if they touch faces, I've seen it set off a dog fight, so that's why I didn't want Bodhi playing with that soccer ball like that. But anyhow, if you can, please give the thumbs up. Bodhi doesn't want to be still today. Please give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, and also a special thank you to everyone who watches Bodhi's ads. They help support him. We appreciate it so much. So everyone out there, have a great day, and we will see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Take care.